Razor is a general purpose templating engine. We can use it anywhere to generate an output like HTML. It is just that ASP.NET MVC has implemented view engine that allows us to use Razor inside of an MVC application to produce HTML. But as I said, it is a general purpose templating engine. That means that we will have a template file that will be a mix of HTML code and some blocks of .NET language code such as c or vb.NET. We can use .NET language to get the data or to interact with a specific model where the HTML specifies where and how the data is supposed to appear to generate the output. Whenever we use c language for Razor coding, then the extension for the template file will be .cshtml. And if vb.net language is used for Razor coding, then the extension for the template file will be .vbhtml. Goals of Razor is quite simple. It should be easy to use and easy to learn. But Microsoft wanted Razor to have no ties with any specific technology like ASP.NET or ASP.NET MVC or any specific runtime such as ASP.NET runtime. And finally, Microsoft wanted Razor to be smart to help the developers to complete their job easily. Razor understand what is HTML and what is the language code. While working with the demo, we will understand how Razor coding is smart. Razor coding can be written in two ways. First is single line expression or inline expression. Whenever we wanted to process a single line of c statement, then we can use a Razor single line expression. And in order to write the expression, we need to use an at symbol followed by the expression. For example, at viewback.course. In the last module also, we have used the statement to display the course name. Second one is Razor Blocks. Whenever we wanted to process multiple lines of c -sharp code, then we need to use Razor Blocks. And in order to use the Razor Block, we need to use an at symbol followed by the flower brackets. The Razor Block code can have a combination of c -sharp statements and HTML language code. Razor engine is capable enough to identify what is HTML and what is c coding. For example, to define a variable with a default value, to display that value as an output, we can use at open the flower brackets and then string course equal to ASP.NET MVC and then to display the information as a heading, I can use h1 and then to display the course at course and we can close the h1 tag. Now let us understand how to create a view using the Razor coding. 